but y'all, sometimes we look at each other like a fellow says a tree full of hoot owls, just, <laughs> just looking back and forth. Y'all, I will praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. 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 He yeah. the most yeah. Yeah. Hey, I don't care yeah. who's watching. Yeah. I just want to thank the Lord. Hey, yeah. 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 Ye
<clears throat> there are many things that I could praise God for. And if I started now until I die, there'd still be many more. If I could mention only one, I'd have to thank him for his son. Now that's enough to praise the Lord for all he's done. For all he's done, I'm going to lift my hands and praise him for all he's done. I'll try to live my life to please Him. Yeah. Even though I don't deserve to live, my life has just begun, and I can't help but praise the Lord for all He's done. Amen. All dying dead is the Lord. Right. Can't thank Him enough, but I won't try to be thankful every day lets me live. Yeah. Every day lets me live. I'm going to try to thank the Lord. Turn your Bibles to the book of First uh, Corinthians 15. First Corinthians 15. Glory to God. I'm going to skip around and read. A little here and there. Just keep up with it. The law will be in the same chapter, Corinthians chapter 15. <clears throat> I want to skip around and read it. I want to preach this chapter again. It won't take long. It's just 58 verses. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, I, I'm not going to preach it all. I was just kidding about it. <laughs> well, I want to say something about it. The Lord will help me here a little bit. Verse 1. More than brother, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach, which... You also have received wherein you stand. But which also you are saved, you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered you first of all that which also I received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scripture. That was buried, that he rose again the third day according to the Scripture. Now verse 17. And if Christ be not risen, your faith is vain, you are yet in your sin, then they also which fall asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we had hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead, became the first fruits of them that perished, uh, came the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came also the death, but man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward there that Christ that is coming. Verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be chained in a moment in the twin of the eye of the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be chained. Verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be you steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Now, I'm going to start with the last verse, verse 55, and then go back and preach a few things in this chapter, if the Lord will help me just a little while. But uh, remember that word, uh, that last verse there. Uh, and therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Now, when you find that word, therefore, it means in light of what's already been said. Right. And there a whole lot been said in this chapter right here. Yes. Now I know it's far more than I'll ever preach, but I will to talk about it a little while today. But remember that. It's in light of what we've already heard. Therefore, because of this, we can be steadfast and unmovable, thank God. Amen. Moses was steadfast, the meekest man that ever lived. Joshua was steadfast, he, by, he said, I'm in my eyes, we're going to serve the Lord. 
Job was steadfast. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I'm proud this morning to tell you there is victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God which giveth us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who then can be against us? We're more than conquerors through him that loved us. I've been young down whole, but I've not seen the righteous forsake him, nor his seed begging bread. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you, if you know the Lord, you can be steadfast and unmovable. You don't have to be carried away with different doctrines and different things that may be going around today. We know the Bible. We've heard the Bible. We've taught the Bible. We've preached the Bible just about all of our life. And we know, thank God, what the Scripture said. And in light of what the Scripture said, we know our labor is it's not in vain, thank God, in the Lord. Hallelujah. Stephen was steadfast to the end. Yes, Bible said when they stoned him, he looked up to heaven, steadfastly into heaven, it said. And while they're stoning him to death, said, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. Paul was steadfast to the end. He said, I let none of these things move me. That I might finish my course with joy. Hallelujah. Amen. I can go on and on that line, but I'm not going to. I want to get right down to what I want to pray. First of all, let me say this. We can be steadfast and unmovable because of, look here at verse number three. For I delivered you, first of all, that which also I received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scripture, and that he was buried, that he rose again the third day according to the Scripture. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I ought to say in light of uh, our sin debt being paid, thank God we can be steadfast and unmovable. Amen. Our labor is not in vain in the law. So I'm proud to send that pain. Yes. We sang that song, There Was a Time on Earth, when in the book of heaven an old account was standing for sins yet unforgiven. It said my name was at the top. Many thanks below, but I went to the keeper. Yeah. I got it settled long ago. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, thank God that uh, the sin dead has been paid in full. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We can rejoice about that and have that blessed assurance in our heart that our sin dead has been paid. Now the Bible said the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. It said in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. Amen. By him, by Jesus Christ, all that believe they're justified from all things for which they could not be justified right. by the law of Moses. You'll know the truth. The truth will make you free. But I like this verse right here. It said, we know he was manifest to take away our sin. And in him is no sin, thank God. He, was, he took our sins away. Nailed them to the cross, thank God. Never to be remembered against us no more. And so in this we can rejoice that our sin debt's been paid in full. Hey. Let me say this. Back in, back, back in the other law, they would offer the b blood of bulls and goats and things like that to cover their sin for one year at a time. Right. Now, if you read the Old Testament, you know what I'm talking about. And some of you don't know, and probably that's the reason I'll tell you a little bit about this. And the, the, the Bible said the blood of bulls and goats could never take away sin. It only covered that sin for 12 months. One year, a 
At the end of that year, there's a remembrance brought up of that sin again. They had to carry another lamb or, or sacrifice to cover, cover their sin for another year. Amen. Now remember, just cover them, not take them away, just cover them. It was sort of like today. I've uh, borrowed a lot of money in my time. Years ago, I don't now. Too old, I reckon. But uh, I used to borrow a lot of money. And down to the bank, and I'd uh, go down there. And a lot of time, in fact, most time I do it this way. I just borrow money on a six month note or, or a 12 month note. Now, I'm, I'm trying to prove a point, just stay with me. And I just uh, buy it, I'd, I'd borrow it for 12 months most of the time. Till that 12 months, if I didn't have enough money to pay it off, I'd go down and I'd renew that note. Yep. Yep. I'd pay the interest on it. Right. And I was in good shape for 12 more months. Uh -huh. But I want you to notice this. Here's what I want you to get. When I paid that interest and renewed that note, it didn't have a thing to do with that debt. I still owed that debt. Right. Yep. I owed just as much as it did start with. Right. All I paid was the interest. Yeah. Yep. To renew it up for 12 more months. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, that's kind of like it was back in the yeah. law. That's right. They just, uh, they just paid the interest on their sins. Yeah. They kindly renewed it up for 12 months. The end of 12 months, and they had to go back and remember that sin again, offer another a sacrifice for yeah. But the Bible said he is manifest to take away our sin, yeah. and in him is no sin. Yeah. Our sins forever gone. Yeah to be remembered against us anymore. We ought to be happy about that. Amen. Fact, we ought to be steadfast and unmovable. We've got our foot on the rock and our minds made up. Mine is on the sir. Got my foot on the rock my mind's made up. He took away our sin. Amen. Never to be remembered no more. Thank God I'm free. Free, free from the penalty of sin. And uh, so uh, I want to say today, if you're here and never trusted Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of your life, He'll do the same thing for you. Yes. He'll take away your sin and He'll save you. He'll give you new life. He'll give you peace like you've never known and take that condemnation away and, and you can go home happy and go home justified, yeah. set free. Praise hey. God. I, well, I'm thankful our sin is forever gone. Yes, that's right. Amen. Therefore, my beloved brother, be steadfast, unmovable, for as much as you know your labor is not in vain in the law. I want to show you something else. Not only we could know our labor is not in vain because our sin debt's paid in full. But uh, because of verse 51, behold, I show you a mystery. We'll not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment between the night the last trump. For the trump is your sound, we should be, and we should be raised in corrupted. And uh, let, me, let me get my glasses on and see what I'm reading here. It's trying to read, it's trying to read it by heart, but I can't get it. I'll read that, I'll get, I want to read that verse again in a moment. At twinkling night the last trump. For the trump is your sound, we should be, and the dead should be raised incorruptible, and we should be changed. And so, uh, we can be steadfast because the Lord is coming back again. Hallelujah. Yes, and I want to say to you today, all the signs are pointing toward home. You can look around and see, read the Bible, see what's going on, and know we're nearing the end of the journey. Hallelujah. Amen. Cheer up. Look up. High redemption draweth nigh. Amen. Amen. So our labor is not in vain in the law. Thank God. Hallelujah. We're going to be delivered from this present evil world. That's right. Yep. We ain't always going to be down here in this old world, but we're going to be delivered. Go home to be with the Lord. Amen. I think about that old song. It's my mom's favorite song. Uh, 
I've been waiting, Lord, to go. And she waited a pretty good while. She was 93. But I remember just before she, just a few months before she died, she's able to come to church all, all her life. And just a few months before she died, I got her up here and she stood up here with me and we sang that song. Many years I've traveled on this weird road. Watch the fleeting changes. Try to share some love. Now my work's finished and steps are getting slow. But I'm ready, Lord, to go. That last verse said, come a little closer. Snow white angel band while I cross a river to a better land. Open wide the pores and play a little slow. I've been waiting, Lord, to go. I'm proud we're going to leave out of here one day after a while when this short life is ended. Amen. Better days are ahead for the children of God. Cheer up. Cheer up, saints of God. Cheer up. Better days are ahead. The Lord said, if I go prepare a place, I'll come again. He's going to prepare a place. He's coming back. The Lord's not slack concerning his promise. Some men count slack for long suffering, what's not willing that it should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes. When he left out over in Acts chapter 1, the Bible said this standing there gazing to heaven, two men stood by them in white apparel, said, You men of Galilee, why stands you gazing into heaven? The same Jesus that's taken up today is going to come like manner, just like you've seen him go away. Right. Hey. Same Jesus yeah. is coming back. Yeah. He said he'd come. He's never broke a promise. He never will. He came and he'll be back. I said he'll be back. Amen. You say when? I don't know, but he'll be back just on time. Be back just on time. The Bible said I learned the power of the fig tree. When his branch yet tender poured forth leaves, you know the summer's now. I used to read that. Well, it's always read like that, but I didn't get a hold of it. But when I'd read that, when it's, uh, it's branch is tender poured forth leaves, I'd think about putting forth them little bitty buds out there just on the end. Yeah. You know, when it first started coming alive, that tree started coming alive. But that's not what it said. It said, now learn the power of the fig tree when its branch is yet tender and put it forth the leaves. Yeah. Leaves. Right. Well, that's what the trees got on them now. They don't have them little buds. They've got leaves on them. Amen. Right. And that's sign springs here. Yes. Amen. And uh, I believe, spiritually speaking, I believe the leaves is done on the trees. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Right. If I wasn't ready to go, I'd get ready today. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Tell you, he's coming back. He's coming Amen. back. He's coming Amen. back. Amen. Yet a little while he shall come, will come, will not tarry. Well, uh, one more little thing. I'll, I'll let you go. I'm going keep, to keep you along today. We got a good many visitors, and I, I want to preach along. You wouldn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing. I want to say this. And I. Uh, but we know our labor's not in vain because our sin debt's been paid in full. Now, if we're just working here and trying to get to heaven by our own works and doing the best we can and things like that, and, uh, you know, we might have to be bothered a little bit about that. We might not work enough or be good enough. But that, we don't have to worry about that. Our good is not going to get us our no way. That's right. That's right. Yep. We are going there because of a finished work on Calvary. Hallelujah. And when he died there, he died to take away our sin. Yeah. Right. He's coming back again. He yeah. said he was. And he'll be back. Hallelujah. Yeah. He'll be back. Amen. Then because of the resurrection, assurance of the resurrection, Amen. we know our labor is not in vain, the Lord. Yes. Amen. This is a resurrection chapter of the Bible I read out. Now, we all know that if you go to church and read the Bible in it. But, uh, you know, Hebrews 11, we call that the faith chapter of the Bible. By faith, by faith. About 22 right. times it says. And we call Corinthians 13 the charity chapter of the Bible. And it is. Well, Corinthians 15 is a resurrection chapter of the Bible. You read about it other places, you read about it a whole lot right here. The resurrection chapter of the Bible. Now, here's what I want you to see right here. Let me give you a few verses. Verses number 13 said, But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. 
And uh, then verses 19, I believe it is, said, if in this life only we had hope in Christ, we'd be of all men most miserable. Verse 22, for as in Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Verse 42 said, it is sown a natural body, it's raised a spiritual body, amen. So uh, we know, according to the Bible, and know that uh, there will be a resurrection. And uh, the Lord got up out of the grave on the third day, and because he lived, we can live. In fact, he said, I am he that lived and was dead, and behold, I'm alive forevermore, amen. Have the keys of death and of hell. I believe that's a verse in that little church thing today. And uh, so I'm proud he's very much alive. He said, I'm the resurrection and the life. And uh, he that believeth in me, though I were dead, yet shall live. Whosoever lived and believeth in me shall never die. Believe us thou then. It saith the spirit that raised Christ from dead dwell in you. He that raised Christ from dead shall also what, quicken your mortal body by the spirit that dwells within you. Amen. Now, Thessalonians 4 tells us all about this. And, and I don't have time to preach much about it, but anyhow, Thessalonians 4 said, if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, how many believes that? Amen. If we believe that Jesus died and rose again, I said, if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, right. Amen. Amen. we must believe that way. We've been talking around here yes. this morning, singing, yeah. Yeah. teaching Sunday school and everything like that. Yeah. We must Amen. believe that. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, Amen. even so them also which sleep in Jesus, That's right. will God bring with it. That's right. I believe Jesus died and rose again. I, well, I believe. I don't have a reason not to believe this. That George was the first president. I've heard it all my life, read in books and things. But I believe a whole lot more that Jesus died and rose again than I do that George Washington was the first president. Amen. Amen. You say, you crazy, leave me alone. I'm all right. I'm just, <laughs> I'll be all right. I just know that's right. Yes, yes, I said, I know that's right. Amen. 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 We believe that Jesus died and rose again, hallelujah. You're right. Even so them which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Amen. One day the trumpet's going to sound, Brother David, and the Lord's coming. He's going to bring our friends, our lovers, our moms and dad, and church folk. He's going to bring them back. Thank God there'll be a bodily resurrection. We'll be changed. I will be caught up to meet the Lord there. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Uh, Me and my wife's talking. I guess it's yesterday last night. Somebody else, I was talking something about the uh, uh, spur cape. Somebody, I was talking something about it. I said, Lord, I'd love to hear it. And I was talking about Brother Stendhal. I said, I told my wife, I said, Lord, I'd love to hear some of them old timers preach again. I just love to hear them old timers preach. She said, Yeah, but them old timers are done dead. I said, Yeah, most of them, most of them are. <laughs> but I won't tell you something. I'm one of the few. <laughs> but I want to tell you something. Yeah. I'll see them again one of these days. Yeah. 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 In fact, I don't think it's going to be long. Right. <laughs> till the trumpet's going to sound yes, and the Lord's going to bring the other one of them back with him. Yeah. Yeah. You say, how can all them things be as big as this world is? How them that send the sea, they're going to come in? Just, you say, how can that be? I don't know. But we got a great God. He made this thing, made everything. He'll get it together. You don't have to worry about it. It'll be all right. He'll work it out. Amen. I just believe in my heart. Believe in my heart. There will be a resurrection morning. In fact, some of these days, uh, this cemetery out here will look like a new ground. Yeah. And all the other cemeteries here. Right. Yep. You say, I don't know what a new ground is. <laughs> this one just place just been cleared off and it right. broke up and got it plowed up. Right. Ain't ready to plow nothing like that. It's just, you know, broke up. Uh-huh. It's gonna be broke up like that here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you kinda crazy. Well, I don't I don't know. 
I don't think I'm plum crazy. I believe I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. That scripture on down, we could preach about that, but I ain't got time. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven. He's coming back. Yeah. If we've been planted together in the light of his death, we'll be also in the likeness of his resurrection. That's right. That's what the Bible said. That's right. I'll show this and I'm done. The Bible said this body here is sown in corruption, but it's raised in incorruption. That's, right. That's the way it is. Our, yes, our conversation in heaven, we're looking for the Lord to come back. Yep. Yes. Amen. It's sown in dishonor, but it's raised in glory. Amen. Brother Glass, you're talking about singing that song, Glory to His Name, we're really singing it to you. Yes. Yes, it's raised in glory. This body's sown in weakness. And how true that is. I think about that so much. I, how the body's sown in weakness. I've seen so many people in my lifetime die with cancer and things like that. And just get weaker and weaker. Get where they couldn't eat. And then you get where they couldn't even drink water or anything like that. And we just life was just weak. That's the way. But it says it's going to be raised in power. One day. I try. <laughs> Oh, if the spirit of him that raised Christ from dead dwell in you, he that raised Christ from dead shall also quicken your mortal body. Amen. Going to be raised in power, so the natural body going to be raised spiritually. I guess I better quit right along in there. But thank you for coming. Be in the service today. Hey. Yeah, I wrote this little note down here. I got this from Brother Stennett. We are friends here all our life, I reckon. I miss them fellows so bad. But about that word, therefore. Therefore, be you steadfast, unmovable, always abound to work alone. For as much as you know, your labor's not in vain the Lord. Y'all that know Brother Stinnett know he's, he's good at putting little things together, and writing poems, and fixing out lines, and he'd literate them, he'd put all them P's and T's and S's and them. But, but here's what he said about that word. Then it said every time you see the word therefore, it's therefore a purpose. Therefore, we need to look and see what it's therefore. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get that? Yes, sir. Let me tell you one more time. Every time you see the word therefore, it's therefore a purpose. Therefore, we need to look at and see what it's Therefore. Hey. So this word here, therefore, hey. means a whole lot in this yes, verse. Sir. Yeah, thank you, Doc. Yes, sir. I just preached about it today. All right, come on, let's have a little music.